Imagine this man who had a Land Rover, who said he knew the way to Timbuktu, and who, could, who said he could speak English. He was wrong on all three counts. He did have a Land Rover, but it didn't work properly. He couldn't hardly speak any English, and he kept calling my pal Andy Cindy, which was really, really annoying. And he got lost on the way to Timbuktu. We got stuck in the desert, every time you look, he's going, there's no problem, there's no problem. Every time I look, the Land Rover are going further out the until only the bumper was sticking up. Let me tell you, my big pal had drunk all the water, which we were not too happy about either. And here we are, lying in the desert, 105 degrees or whatever it is, right? And then, we heard a voice. I can tell you, that was the most welcome voice I have ever heard in my life. And these nomads had spotted us, and we saw a wee light coming towards us, and we heard the voices. Let me tell you, a welcome voice for us. They rescued us, we stayed in their tent, they were amazing people. The next day the army came and towed our land over out, explained to our driver how you really got to Timbuktu, and everything ended happily, I'm glad to see it. But you know, it's a bit like that with Jesus' voice. If you're struggling and you've got the problems in life, when you hear Jesus' voice, isn't it just so welcome to hear him speaking to us? And you know, the other thing I love about the story, I love the picture of Jesus coming out of the water, and we've even got God's voice in this. God speaks himself, and he says, this is Jesus. And you know, I wonder why there's only twice that God actually speaks for Jesus is here when he says, this is my son and I love him. And then in the Mount of Transfiguration, where Peter and, and the rest of the, the guys that are up there decide they're going to do something different and God speaks and says, hey, listen, this is Jesus. Just listen to him. <laughs> and sometimes God just does that. He just says, oh, just listen to Jesus, okay? Because sometimes we don't do that. And here God speaks and endorses John's ministry. And let me tell you this. If we're doing the right 